Welcome to how-to videos from Bugspray.com. Today I want to introduce you to one of our newest products. This is the Bed Bug Alarm. And I'm going to go ahead and put one together for you up close so you can see exactly what it takes to put this together. I've seen actual bed bug traps uh, with bed bugs in them. This is the first trap that I've seen that really works well. So uh, towards the end of the video you should see some clips of those traps with the bed bugs in them. Very amazing. This is a great trap for traveling when you're doing overnights uh, at a hotel, that type of thing. It's pretty compact, uh, easy to throw in your uh, suitcase and should do a great job at detecting any bed bugs uh, when you're traveling. Or even better, if you're at home after traveling, you can set it out uh, if you think that you actually have a bed bug problem. So anytime you think that there might be bed bugs, another, another group of people that might be really interested in these are people who own uh, apart apartment buildings or hotels where they have people complaining of bed bugs. They can set one of these babies out overnight and they'll know immediately if there's a bed bug problem. So let's uh, get a close up here and I'm going to show you how to put this together. Okay, when you open up your packet, you're going to find your instructions. You have two cups, two warmers, two bait packets, two pheromone lures, and the two glue traps. Now I'm going to show you exactly what the process is for assembling this trap. Okay, the first step is going to be to open up the cup and you'll see that one side is solid and this side has a hole in the top and you want to set that one to the side. Then you're going to fill the bait cup about half full. You don't want to overfill it because you have to put this packet in here. And this is a water soluble packet with the bait inside of it. So just set that inside and it's going to want to dissolve up. And hopefully I didn't overfill it. And you just put the cap on it. Okay, I did it perfect. And that's going to dissolve up and uh, start attracting the bed bugs. Okay, the second step is to remove the wax paper, or the release paper, from the glue. And you want to do this in one quick motion. This is a, a super extra sticky glue. Uh, they've got a new formulation on this. And it's important to do it that quickly, otherwise you're going to uh, get the paper is going to tear and it's not going to come off. Now if you uh, are concerned about that, one thing you can do is stick this in a refrigerator for a few minutes and that'll make the uh, glue a little bit harder and it'll pull off a little easier. So the next step would be to take the bait packet in the cup and stick it to the bottom of the glue board on the side with the tab. Okay, your next step is to take the warmer and you're going to cut it from the end. And the reason you want to do that is you want to make sure that you don't cut this. Now as soon as it uh, comes in contact with the air, it's going to uh, start to warm and all you got to do is just take that and stick it on the top side of the glue board where the slot is. The next step is take this little pheromone capsule and carefully open it. And once you open it, you're just going to pour that directly on the warmer. All right. And then the last step is just to assemble it. And pretty simple. Just folds into a nice little tent. And you're ready to go. You can set this out underneath a bed or next to a nightstand or any place where you suspect the bed bugs to be hiding. Next uh, you'll see exactly how productive these traps are in a very short period of time. These are designed to uh, give you really quick feedback as to the level of infestation. 
To be able to identify what you are catching, we've included a chart that shows the life cycle of the bed bugs. As you'll notice, they go through several life stages. Here along the side are the actual sizes of the different life stages that you will find. They all are also different colors. The very immature babies are very, very difficult to see because they are nearly transparent, as I will show you in one of our traps. Additionally, you may find other insects as well in your trap. We've included an identification chart so that you can know what you are catching. This is a trap that was put out for 24 hours. And as you will see, there are spiders caught in it, but also all stages of bed bugs. Even this is a bed bug. And as you will see, it is extremely hard to see even on the trap. You can imagine how hard it would be to find something like that in your carpet. That is why it's essential to use the bed bug monitor to know for sure whether you have bed bugs. Just catching one of these alerts you that you will have an infestation. Another example of a trap which was put out for 24 hours. As you can see, we've caught all stages and life cycles of the bed bugs. You will see adults, the larger, darker insects on here, down to the very clear translucent babies, which are about the size of a grain of sand. Additionally, you will notice that all of these insects have a dark spot on their abdomen. That means that they have recently had a blood meal. means that they have been feeding on humans. You may only catch, initially, a few insects in your trap, like this one. You'll notice that there are some five or six little babies here, several over here, and a, and a larger insect there. This means that you have a troubling infestation. You could catch have catches like we show here. There are quite a few adults but many, many of the smaller babies. It's good to catch them when they're small so that they do not reproduce. This one is a very good example of many life stages clustered together. Again, all of these were caught within 24 hours. Make sure that no matter what brand of bed bug trap you are buying, that the manufacturer can show you many, many examples of true catches caught on their trap, as we have here. Thank you for watching this how-to video from Bugspray.com.